Hey, hello everyone. Welcome everybody to my new series, Two Minutes Tech. In my previous video, we discussed about uh, HTTP and polling. Today, I am going to discuss about WebSocket and Socket.io. WebSocket. WebSocket are little bit different from request response protocol. Here, actually, it provides an uh, communication channel over TCP. So after an initial handshaking between client and server, they established a fully duplex persistent connection so that anyone can communicate each other at any time. And server also don't need to wait for client's request because server directly communicate with the client if he has any update for any client. So you see this is a major improvement over HTTP pooling. Now next move to another one thing which is socket.io. Socket.io and WebSocket are two different things because WebSocket is a protocol and Socket.io is a library where we can use WebSocket connection. But this library has some uh, facility which we can use in our application. Suppose if the Socket.io failed to establish a WebSocket connection, then it can actually fall back some other technologies like HTTP pooling. And also this library has broadcasting facility which we have to do it in our WebSocket manually. And also, this library uh, support to reconnect automatically if the connection drops. And this library also are useful to load balance or scale the uh, server. But in WebSocket, we have to do it in a hard way. So as I said, everything is a trade-off. So you have to analyze your requirement carefully which one actually best for you. Now, this two things also are little bit expensive for low end and low bandwidth devices where we can use some other things like MQTT or SSE. I will discuss about it in my next video. So thank you everyone. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you.